week. So now, guess what? It's time for the segment. I know you all wait just with anticipation to see how Nick did last week. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> I went three and one last week, boys and girls. All right. So a nice rebound for me, putting me all right. for the season at 10 and 14. I'm getting closer to that 500 mark. It's coming. I tell you, I swear I'm going to get there, ladies and gentlemen. So, of course, this segment is Nick's picks. I'm here with my week seven uh, picks. So, my lovely producer, Sean, has been so gracious as to put these in for me because, again, I forget everything. Bears Patriots. Now, I know what you're thinking. Nick, you always say, don't, don't do this. Don't bet on your Bears. Don't do it, Nick. But I'm, a, I'm, a, I, I'm an idiot. Let's just call it that. Okay, look. I, they've had 11 days off to fix some issues. And one of them, and I'm not going to lie, I, I was very behind this. We did bring up Isaiah Coulter. Now, I know you're saying that's not going to make a big difference, but Isaiah Coulter was brought up to the practice squad, and we cut Smith Marset, who, as some of you know, was kind of the goat of the last few games. Missed a pass in the Washington game, had the illegal block in the back on the touchdown run the week before, you know, didn't get out of bounds on that play on our last drive. Anyways, so here we go. Uh, we're in Foxborough. You know, obviously, I don't know if there's a con quarterback controversy or not with uh, Zappi and Mac Jones. I assume Mac Jones will go back to starting when he's healthy, which could be this Monday against the beloved Bear. But, man, the Bears are getting seven and a half points. And I know you're saying, but, Nick, your team doesn't score. No, that's true. I can't deny that at all. But something just tells me that on the road, and we've been a good second-half team, and our deep, and as a matter of fact, you may not know this, but Roquan Smith leads the NFL in tackles. I knew now that. that's important for a lot of reasons. Okay, see, Delilah do that. Thank you, Delilah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's it's just I I have some confidence in our defense, and with Gordon and Brisker back there, those guys get better every week. I think we can come with it. So I'm going to take the Bears plus the seven and a half in this Monday night matchup in Foxborough. So on to our next game. Thank you, Mr. Sean, if you wouldn't mind. But I will take the Bears. Giants, Jaguars. Now, this one kind of surprised me because the Jaguars are actually favored in this game by three points. And I was like, well, you know, I get it. But the Giants are on fire right now. The 5-1 and one Giants are going to go there into Jacksonville, take on the Jaguars as a three-point underdog. So, naturally, Nick goes the other way, and I take the Giants plus the three. Again, I know that at times Jacksonville has looked really good, but at times they've also looked really bad. And so the Giants at least have been consistent through these don't bet against Bill, he says. Well, thank you, David. I would never, ever bet the Bears. Yes, I know. We've had this conversation. I'll probably be in therapy by next week. It's okay. I'll be fine, I promise. But again, Jaguars, Giants. I will take the Giants plus three again. I just think right now they are rolling. They've got Saquon going. Daniel Jones is not hurting them at all, and the defense has been playing well. So I will go Giants plus three in the Giants and Jaguars game. My next game on the docket is Jets-Broncos. This was another one that actually kind of surprised me. The upstart Jets are three-point underdogs in this one, which I was like, oh, interesting, the way the Broncos have been playing. But I guess they figure it's a Broncos home game. You got the higher altitude. Maybe you're thinking some, at some point Russell Wilson will break out of whatever slump he's in. But now he's got another injury, a hamstring to go along with the shoulder. So I'm going to take the Jets plus three. I just saw the way, and I'm not, you know, Denver's offensive line is just as bad as Green Bay's offensive line. And I saw what the Jets' defense to that offensive line, they knocked Aaron Rodgers around basically for 60 minutes. And I don't think that this game would be anything different. If that defense is still out there being hungry, I look for the Jets to go five and two, and I will take them getting the three points as the underdog. And so my final game for this week, Mr. Sean, thank you, is, of course, Chiefs 49ers. It was our game of the week also. But this line was, was kind of interesting to me because, again, we talked about, as Delilah mentioned, that the 49ers <laughs> sometimes win games they aren't supposed to, right? Well, I'm hoping this week, at least for the spread, it's, that's not entirely true. Because, you know, the, it's, minus, it's, a, it's a minus three-point line. The Chiefs should win by more than three points. So I am going to take them. As I said, I think the Chiefs will win the game. It, I would not be surprised if the 49ers somehow pulled it out. But for all intents and purposes, I will take the Chiefs minus three. So to rewind, I'm taking Chiefs minus three. I am taking Jets 
plus three. I'm taking the Giants plus three. And my beloved Bear, which I'll probably regret, but that's okay, plus seven and a half on Monday night <laughs> in Foxborough. <laughs> so, again, that is Nick's picks for this week. Again, I went three and one last week, making me 10 and 14 on the season. And hopefully I go four and oh, and I'll be 500 by next week. But we'll see what happens. Uh, so, again, we thank you all for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.